mesmerism session with drug injection. Patient is Richard Felton. Mr. Felton, I remind you that you were sedated with a dose of phenoxyl and submitted to the constant swing of the metronome. Can you hear me? Yes. Breathe deeply. Keep your eyes on the metronome. I, I can't follow. Stay calm. Keep control of yourself. We are here for you, Mr. Felton. What day were you born? February 16th. Can you tell me which day today is, or your wife's name? Uh, Ariana. We're in March, I think. I don't remember. I, I can't remember. That's normal. It's part of the mesmerism process. Stay focused. Keep your eyes on the metronome. You are now in oblivion. What is the first thought that comes to you? Celeste. On the swing. Happy. Celeste. Can you see her? Keep visual contact. I see her back. She, she's still swinging. She, she can't hear me. Why doesn't she hear Mr. me? Mr. Felton, keep calm. What you see is not material. It's a reflection That's of your subconscious. My entire fault. I knew this would happen. That she would escape. We were supposed to protect her so that they wouldn't find her. Who are they? Oh, I never thought she'd come back. I thought her. Do you mean Celeste came back after she disappeared? She wasn't my little girl. No, she wasn't Celeste. She was Jennifer. Mr. Felton, who are you talking about? Who's Jennifer? When my father came back in 1930, it was like he was dead. No physical wounds, just broken inside. He changed. I have never liked or loved him very much, but... The man that came back from Ethiopia was far from being the man that once left us. He came back to himself pretty quickly, but not how I wanted. Mr. Felton, were you abused by your father? Oh, no, never. He was a good man. Very strict, yes. A monster, but, but not that kind of monster. He never touched me. I, I was a disappointment to him. A wimp. Do you think your daughter's disappearance is related to your relationship with your father? She, she should have never been born. My father, he, he hurt me to prevent me from her. Is this why you came here, Doctor? I hope you found what you were looking for. I tried to warn you. You should have listened. Is it really worth it to put yourself into this story? Stay dead forever! Other things die and just linger in time. Uh, sir, sooner or later, everyone will find out the truth. I already told you the truth. My daughter left us just one afternoon. We never saw her again. Fucking liar! You said that she came back, didn't you? Oh! <laughs> You don't understand. You, you have no idea of what I've been through. The pain. And didn't you think of the pain your daughter's been through? Oh no, Celeste was the only bond between my wife and I. Our marriage was more of a business deal than love. It was one of those arranged marriages where... Only the parents-in-law love each other. This has nothing to do with her daughter. On the contrary, it has everything to do with her. 
After she disappeared, Ariana and I were divided. But you said you were protecting Celeste. From who? It's more than you can handle, miss, and you would not understand. It's true. I might not be able to understand. But right now, I believe Celeste decided to leave be because she was terrorized by your morbid intentions. No, it's not true. And yet, sometime later, she comes back home to the lion's it's den. It's not true. One afternoon, she knocked on the door. I, I couldn't believe it. She was there. But it wasn't Celeste. It, it was Jennifer. <laughs> Jennifer. Then you came in. God bless you. And thanks to you, I... I finally realized that Jennifer was to blame for my pain, my disease. I could not let her go away again. So one night I slipped into her bedroom, and there she was, tempting me. I could not let her hurt us again. No, can't be. And yet, you saw her body. I, I had to. I, I didn't have any other choice. You're disgusting. Murderer! You're a murderer! Oh God, forgive me. Forgive me. I was just following her orders. You, you came to us to, to free us from evil. Oh, God. Hey! 
Wait! Jennifer!
The responsible authorities are trying to make light of what has happened. Now let's go to the report. Chodoskoro. A phone line repairman was attacked this morning in an underground car park. Surveillance cameras show a blonde woman in suit with an elegant, innocent air about her who approached the man with the pretext of lighting a cigarette. <laughs> The woman then attacked the man, wounding his head. The wanted person, aged between 30 and 40, then browsed the man's briefcase containing confidential information about the users who asked the phone line to be repaired. She stole the van and started driving to an unknown destination, leaving the man unconscious. The authorities are now checking for any evidence that the woman might be looking for a particular address. Although the man is now out of danger, he has suffered lesions and a concussion and has been admitted to a hospital nearby. A few hours ago, the authorities provided an identikit of a woman based on the victim's description. We invite you to contact us if you find yourself in the presence of this woman, or if that you have woman any specific looks like you. Who, who are you? I hope you'll forgive me for before, but but you mustn't touch my things. My things are mine. You mustn't. That photo in the loft. What happened to that door? Richard made it disappear. He doesn't want anyone to go in. What do you mean? That door no longer exists. There is now a wall. A wall behind the fireplace. A fireplace? There, you're gonna find what you're looking for. Hello, Mom? Can you tell Dad I'm fine now? from me, but not from our God. It is not a disease, but a gift.
Signore, the most are a sign of God to punish the heretics like the others. God save.